Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room and back to another pocket letter for today. Uh, I'm we are getting so close to October, so we are going to be doing another kind of spooky theme pocket letter. So today's theme is Tim Burton, and I want to do a Beetlejuice themed pocket letter. Um, so I wanted to stick with a monotone black, white, and cream kind of color, base, color scheme, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Normally I would do a pop of color, but for this one I just thought it would be so cool to keep it black and white. I don't know, I've just been so interested in that kind of seeing what you can do with only two or even just one color with a few added, you know, colors here and there. I think it started with the whole uh, <laughs> pick a color uh, for your favorite color. So now it just kind of trickled down into a Tim Burton one because I thought it would be so cool and so fun to try and, you know, find all of those things that are just black and white or black and cream in my stash. And I actually had quite a bit. I found this I don't really know what to... It's not really floral. It's not really paisley. <laughs> it's a strange pattern. But it's a black and it's kind of a cream, almost white um, piece of paper. And I cut that down to our inserts, but I left a pocket for a shaker. Because <laughs> if you remember in my Tim Burton flip book, I had some Beetlejuice sequins and I really wanted to use some of those with some other kinds of goodies in there. So I used a bunch of black and white ribbons and that really kind of set the uh, set a good spot for me to do anything I really wanted. It kind of grounded the card so that I could do anything really and I added some jack-o'-lanterns and some spiders, and I used the little saying that comes next to the octopode digis uh, that I used. It just has their sayings that they normally say in the movie. And then for some of the pockets I used ghosts. And for the center uh, section, I guess, <laughs> where I'm going to put the shaker, I also did Beetlejuice and Lydia and it turned out so cool. I just used these label dies um, that Tammy had sent me. She sent me so many things that would go so well with this that I also used with the Tim Burton flipbook, if you remember. And I thought it just it really helped along <clears throat> with the pocket letter. So I just put... <clears throat> sorry, guys. <laughs> I just put... Um, those two digis from the Octopode factory and then I just added a spider and a skull and then her, she has little bows in her hair and I put spiders on top of them and I think that was a great touch and it looks really good. So here I am filling the shaker with those Beetlejuice sequins which are so cool. I'm so glad I picked those up and it's been so long since I've used them. Because I've been hoarding them to make something Tim Burton or Beetlejuice with them. And I just haven't, I guess, really felt inspired to yet. And then I was just like, yes, we are doing this <laughs> this year. <laughs> and I still have a ton left. <laughs> it's kind of like all of my Halloween stuff. <laughs> so for the top one, I did a... I wanted to flip the ribbon so that it wasn't exactly the same from the bottom. So I just did it on the side and I used that sticker that I was going to use on the shaker. Because it, it just goes so well because it's the haunted. And with some little ghost stickers. Because <laughs> if you've seen Beetlejuice you know that... Well I don't really want to spoil it if you haven't seen it. But you know what I mean if you have seen it. <laughs> if you haven't seen it go see it because it's really good. And then I just poke in another one of those sayings. I think this is um, Beetlejuice's saying. And I used some of those pumpkins that Tammy had sent me. 
so cool. It turns out so awesome. And then I used some of that black and white, kind of very fibery ribbon. Oh, it is so cool. And it turns out really nicely for this pocket letter because it's not quite girly. So it's more towards the Beetlejuice side of it rather than the Lydia. And I think it looks so good. Of course, I have to add some goodies. So some of those ribbons um, that I had used, some stickers that I had used, and my hopefully I'm still recording. My lights just flickered. <laughs> some skull stickers. Makes me think of the SpongeBob episode. And the lights flickered on and off. <laughs> course while I'm filming a spooky video. Ah! <laughs> I had some of those extra papers that I hadn't used from the um, front side or they can use the back side. It doesn't really matter. But I also added some salted caramel tea because all of my Halloween slash fall pocket letters and mini pocket letters have been having the salted caramel tea. <laughs> And I also wanted to include some of those sequins because, oh my word, I love them and I bet everyone else will love them. <laughs> so a bunch of great goodies for them to enjoy. And then to finish it off, I've just added some of those foam skull stickers and I think that just gives it a great finishing kind of look. <laughs> I love how those kind of tie everything in. Because I had a few skulls in there. Skull stickers. So it really helps tie everything together. I love doing just the things on the sides. That's I think that might be my favorite part. <laughs> and of course I add a little ghosty on the pocket. Like I was deciding to before. And couldn't decide if I wanted to or not. <laughs> so that is my Tim Burton pocket letter. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a crazy day. Good crazy. Not bad crazy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!